this one is 2.25 here we have a bar AC right here which is pinned at point A on the right side it is in contact with another bar CF which is rigid through this frictionless roller the CF is connected to two rods one is made with aluminum and the other one is made with steel so at the beginning in this whole assembly both AC and CF were horizontal both of them are level and then there is a force P applied at point F this one right here and at the same time there is a force Q also applied right here you need to figure out this value of Q so that your CF remains level it doesn't change any angles there. so let's analyze your CF member there now in CF there will be these forces coming from these two rods here one force here one force here so let's call this FE this one as FD now because of this roller contact on this CF bar there will be a force coming downward as a normal reaction okay so now if I do the force balance for this member right here you can see your FD plus FE which is going up will balance your FC plus P that's the force in the y direction and if I write down the moment balance about this point C right here I will have your FD times 1 meter plus Fe times 2 meters this will be equals to P times 3 meters okay so basically this equation becomes Fd plus 2 Fe equals to 3P so I have got one equation here and the second one here in terms of unknown Fc is unknown Fd is also unknown and Fe is also unknown so we have only two equations so we need to look for one relationship in deformation now because the CF remains horizontal the deformation in both of these bars that are there needs to be exactly same so meaning the delta D has to be equals to delta E now how do we write delta D it's going to be force in member D times the length of member D which is 0 0.67 or two-third of a meter divided by the elastic modulus of aluminum times the area so this is 620 5 millimeter square this has to be equals to Fe times length which is 1 meter divided by elastic modulus for steel because this is made of steel times area which is 1250 millimeter square so now here if I take your E steel value to be 210 GPA and your E for aluminum as 70 GPA and I'm in all the other problems I'm taking 205 here but since there is a ratio required that's why I'm just taking exact uh, three times of aluminum for the steel right so if I use these values and I simplify this relationship you can write down your Fe in terms of Fd as 4 over 3 Fd so this third equation becomes this right here now we have first second and third three equations in terms of Fc Fd and Fe if I solve the second and third equation there I get the value of Fd equals to P over 3 and Fe equals to 4P over 3 so these two values are known to us I can substitute these values in your equation number 1 and this will give us a value of Fc equals to 2P divided by 3 now our interest is in Q because this is what we want to solve so we can look at the free boy diagram of your member AC now this is a pin here so we are expecting a reaction this way a reaction in the horizontal which will be equal to 0 because there is no other force in X and there will be a force because of this roller exactly in the opposite direction so this goes up here which is FC so now on this we have uh, maybe this reaction RY and FC these two are unknowns we will have two equations one from force one from the moment but if we write the force equation this ry will also appear there so it's better if we take the moment about point a that way we'll have only q appearing in the equation which we can solve directly so your moment equation will be q times this distance here which is 0 0.67 or two third of a meter this will be balanced by your fc times this distance which is two meters okay so from here your q value is fc divided by 3 if I substitute the value of fc here your q comes out as 2 times p so this is the value of force q if I am applying p here I need to apply p 
2p at this point so that your cf bar remains horizontal.